Hey guys, I'm Anne Monroe and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm 43 and I'm actually 20 pounds lighter than I was in my early 20s. And I've had a lot of people lately say, how do you do it with two kids and running around and not much time to prep meals? And so I decided that because I've done it and I know how easy it actually is long term and short term, I'm going to share with everyone how to lose weight. Um, this is for people that need to lose weight. This is not for people that are already a size two and skinny. We're not at all promoting anorexia here or who can be the thinnest. This is for women and men that are carrying extra weight and need a realistic way of eating where they're not gonna quit. So I know about all the fad diets out there and really in the end, they're just gonna mess up your metabolism. So. What I've done is I have done day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, on and on, so that you guys can actually copy exactly what I ate to lose the weight. Um, as well, right now, just to prepare for the meals you're gonna see, I'm just gonna give you a list of the things that you would wanna have in your fridge. By no means do you need all of them, but I'll just give you a list so you don't have to go through, you know, like 14 days right away. So. You'd want to have lean meats like chicken, fish, very lean beef, pork. Um, if you don't eat meat, you could have tofu, just lean proteins, as well as some nuts. You're not going to go crazy on nuts, but the odd almond and cashew, etc. Seeds as well. We're not going to go nuts on those, but they're there for snacks. Um, any kind of fruits you like. So we're going to be making smoothies with your blender, which takes five minutes or having uh, bowls of fruit if you prefer. So anything from apples, peaches, plums, whatever's in season, um, papaya, mango, grapes, there's no wrong, okay? So yes, there's sugar in fruit, but stop believing that fruit's bad for you if you wanna lose weight. That's ridiculous when you've gotten off all the garbage chips and the garbage candy and the garbage pop. Fruit is necessary for our digestion, to get rid of parasites. The way we're eating, you're fine to eat fruit. We're not going crazy on fruit, but you are gonna eat fruit each day. Um, okay, so you have a choice to either just eat um, salads instead of juicing. Now, I don't mean just eat, but we're gonna be eating vegetables throughout the day. So you can either do the vegetables that I'm about to tell you about in a big salad with your protein on top or your quinoa or things you like, nuts. Um, or you're gonna do juicing or you can do both. We're gonna get to the juicing in a minute. I do juicing. So for those of you that have a juicer, you're gonna be doing it once a day or having a big salad and you can mix it up. So don't leave if you think you need a juicer, you don't, it's just an option. And I have to say I did lose my last five pounds when I started juicing, but you don't need to go out and buy a juicer yet. So for juicing or salads, you'd wanna have spinach, kale, cilantro, carrots, celery, cucumber, if you like tomatoes, then you can put little pieces of fruit on top as well. So any vegetables that you like, staying away from really starchy vegetables all the time, it's the green leafy vegetables and then things like carrots, cucumber, celery. So as well, when you make a salad, you're only gonna put a dairy-free vinaigrette on it, okay? So you can look up some great dairy-free vinaigrettes. I'm a mom on the go, so mine's really simple, but I think you guys could come up with even better vinaigrettes than my olive oil and balsamic vinegar, which does get boring. So occasionally I'll just Google one, and you're gonna use olive oil, okay? or grapeseed oil for your salads. No canola, get canola out of your kitchen. As well, you're gonna to wanna to have on hand brown rice or white rice. Brown rice is better, but white rice is okay too because the portion we're eating in it, it's not gonna be a problem. Or quinoa, if you wanna have both in your fridge, I, or sorry, in your cupboard, I have both. Um, so don't think you have to go run out and get all this stuff, but just to prep the videos you're about to watch. Gluten-free bread. So we're gonna do a no wheat, no gluten. Don't freak out. There's so many alternatives, okay? Rice is gluten-free. Um, quinoa is gluten-free. And there's so many gluten-free breads out there. We're gonna do gluten-free bread for toast, sandwiches, stuff like that. Um, okay, hummus. Hummus has lots of fat in it. It's a healthy fat. If you like hummus, we're gonna do things instead of dairy that are creamy and nice. So have some hummus on hand for snacks. 
almond butter. Almond butter has lots of fat, it has protein, it's great for in between if you're hungry between meals or a great start to the day if you don't want to start with a piece of protein that takes a long time. Um, now, if you drink milk, you're going to get off the real dairy milk. It is making us fat. Dairy is making us fat, okay? So if you find you just can't lose weight and you eat dairy, give it a shot. Go off cow's milk and cheese and all that, but don't worry, you're going to have enough to eat that it's not going to be a problem. Um, so I drink rice milk. I am a coffee drinker. I have coffee three times a day. I'm not promoting it, I know that's terrible, but I have kids and you know with the go 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 that's really the only one thing i really depend on in my life is coffee i don't drink a lot i don't take anything so um i do drink coffee so for those of you that are coffee drinkers this is the right eating plan for you i put rice milk in it instead of milk or you can put soy or you can put almond milk there's lots of options out there rice milk i like the best only because it doesn't have a real nutty flavor. I find that it whitens the coffee a lot quicker and easier. Um, so you're going to want to do that. And yes, you can put your one teaspoon of sugar in each coffee. If you're eating the rest of the day the way I eat, it's not a problem to put a teaspoon of sugar in your coffee because the rest of the day you're eating so healthy. I lost all this weight drinking coffee with sugar in it. Um, okay, so that's about it. So what you're going to do is just quickly look at day one, day two. What I've done is I've gone, here's breakfast, it's like 20 seconds. Here's a snack, here's lunch, here's a snack, here's dinner, here's a snack. I don't have snacks on all days, but you can get through the first seven days in like five minutes to get an idea of what I eat and if you think this is for you. If you wanna lose weight though, it is for you because after 60 days, which you will start to lose weight before that, but I just want you to stick with it for 60 days because the first month, yes, I lost weight, but I really started to shed weight in the second month. So after the 60 days, you're actually gonna love eating healthy. I know you are. And so you're gonna wanna continue doing this if you wanna keep losing even more weight, or you might add back a couple of things that you didn't use to eat on this plan, and that's fine. After 60 days, it's up to you. But I can tell you, if you eat this way, you're gonna be craving the greens juice with the apple. You're going to be craving salads, you're going to be craving fruit. That's what happened to me. And you won't be craving garbage like chips. I just want to tell you guys that it's corporations that are making us fat. It's the garbage that they're putting in the chips. It's the chemicals that are giving us disease and making us fat. We have to get off all that disgusting packaged food. Now when I say packaged food, I mean garbage food. I don't mean if you go out and you, at Starbucks and they have a hummus, uh, it's in a package, you don't want to eat it. I don't mean that, okay? so. You're also going to see that I'm out a lot. I can't always be at home for meals. I'm sure lots of you work out of the office and sometimes you go out to eat. You don't have to stop at Burger King. You don't have to stop at A&W. There's so many options to stopping even at like 7-Eleven or Starbucks or run into your grocery store and you can have a meal ready within like five minutes. So you'll see that I actually do that as well because you'll see me out starting in the next seven days and then we'll keep doing day eight and day nine after that. So if you subscribe to my video, you will get to see all those first week. So you'll get an idea of how I eat. And then don't feel you have to copy exactly. When I say copy what I eat, I mean, these are the foods I eat. If you want to mix it up, breakfast is dinner, dinner is breakfast, snack, you know, you can mix them up. But in a day, I'm showing you how much fat, how much protein, how many vegetables, how many fruits. And I also made a video of cheating. So there's the healthy snacks. And then there's the cheat snack. So I've got some cookies in there and I've got some granola bars and some popcorn and stuff to show you the best ones to buy that are low in fat and low in calories that only once in a while you'll cheat with. But you won't feel as guilty like you really blew it. So another thing is guys, if there's a night or a day where you're like, oh my gosh, I totally fell off the wagon. I didn't stick to how I'm supposed to eat. I don't want you to feel guilty. I don't want you to quit. There are nights, you know, prior to me doing this video where I would go to McDonald's one night or I would pile back some cheesecake and chocolate, especially right before my time of month. What I did was I got up the next day and I said, okay, I did it. 
And then I went right back to my eating plan. And you know what? Over those months, I actually didn't gain weight back because 99% of the time I was eating right. So if you cheat, please don't be hard on yourself. Don't quit. Just keep going. It's that simple. We're all human, okay? So I hope you subscribe to my video. I'm really passionate about helping people lose weight because obesity is out of control and it's because of what corporations are feeding us. And we're eating foods from nature, okay? What God, whoever you, God or Allah or uh, Buddha or the source, whatever you believe in, this is what's provided for us on earth. And these are the foods that were meant to go into our bodies to help us keep burning fat, to get rid of parasites, to help all of our organs. What's happening is people are not even eating foods that help. They're eating garbage foods. So now your body stops working. You are probably going to find that you have more energy once you start eating these foods that help you. I'm a life coach and I'm also a relationship coach. I'm certified from a relationship coaching institute. And I'm finding that people's relationship with food is actually really unhealthy, many people, and it affects their relationships too. So I wanna help you with your relationship with food. I want you to be happy with what you eat, proud of how you look, proud of how you feel. And again, this is not a starvation diet. If you see how much I ate in a day, but you're like, you know what, I need a little bit more. If you stick to the kinds of foods I'm telling you, it's no problem. Some of you might not work out, might not burn a lot of energy. So you're gonna be less hungry and you're gonna eat less. Those of you that might go to the gym or have a job that's really active, if you're still hungry, you're, you're gonna have a snack instead, okay? So there's times when I had hungry days and I ate more, but I ate more of good food. Okay, so anyways, I'm really excited. I really hope that you guys will start messaging me and telling me, oh my God, I did this for two weeks. I've already lost weight. I wanna help as many people as possible. Um, so that's it. Subscribe to my video and you can follow me for the next 60 days on what I eat.